Okay, and now we're here again. Um, all right, so I'm, I'm. This is a new recording session for me uh, for the day, and I just had to look at my last video there, and I realize, and I and I know where to go. I'm supposed to go to Saurasha, Sarashi, Sarasala, Saras, Sarashala. I think that's his name. I can never remember his name. Sarashala, Sarashala. I think I, I think I have it. I'm pretty sure I am 90% sure. Oh, you got the Pendant of Courage. Now I will tell you more of the legend. Three or four generations ago, he can't bother to remember, an order of knights protected the royalty, royalty of Hylia. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the Pendant of Courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the great war against, the, against evil that took place when the seven wise men created their seal among the descendants of the Hyrule, the Knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see, Digit, I believe you. You should really get the remaining pendants and carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the wise men. I want you to have it. Ooh, I got boots now. He gave you Pegasus boots. Now you can execute a dev devastation station. Devastating dash attack. Hold the A button for a short time. A helpful item is hidden in a cave on the east side of Lake Hylia. Get it. Okay, so... I gotta go to the east of Hylia, right? East Lake? East side of the lake. I came here already. I don't know what I'm doing here. So anyway, so... Let's see. Let's take a quick look at our map. Because we can't check it indoors for some reason. So, I'm... Yeah, this is Lake Hylia. And I gotta go to that cave, I believe. I'm pretty sure that is... Um, what do you call it? I think it's, it's that bracelet that allows you to lift heavier rocks. So, we will go over there. Oh, this feels so much better. I don't have to, like, walk all over the place. Now have a running speed. I know, like, in the previous Zeldas, they didn't have the running boots, so... This was a nice addition to the series here. See, now, am I already here? Oh no, I gotta take the long way around. Yes, I do. But first, I'm gonna take a look around here. I just wanna see where... I just wanna see what's on the way here. Just so I don't... Oh, look at that, 150. Do I have enough for that? Do I have... Did I use my fairies? Not yet. Uh, I don't think... Uh, I don't think I have enough hearts to justify buying the, the red chili there. So we will keep on going our oh, merry way. Oh, this guy's got a bow and arrow. A crossbow, I should say. Oh, oh, oh. He's taking aim. He can't go... Oh, no. No, I wanted to kill him. Okay, there he is. Ow! You're gonna pay for that with your life. Okay, so these guys, I'm not too sure. I think I need a level 2, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I need a level 2, um bracelet I think whoa okay enough screwing around we're gonna take a look here I know this guy's a fortune teller I forget he asks for um I think he asks for money for something hmm you look like you have an interesting destiny may I tell you your fortune I, I'll make it cheap ask him to tell it oh I forgot he didn't mention the price abracadabra alakazam I will open a desert you will open a desert lock with the book of Madura now it'll take now I will take 20 rupees. I hope you will be healthy. He, he ha ha ha. I don't know how to laugh that laugh, but he ha 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 well, apparently. Oh 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 get out of here. And kill you. Get Okay, there we go. Like I'm talking to a dog or something, like uh and to an animal that trying to invade your invade your porch. Get out of here. Get Okay, so we gotta go a long way around. I'll go down this way. You know, I always thought I could uh, lift those giant rocks because there's the same color as the the other little rocks you lift open. And uh, look, there's a thing here. A bombable area. Okay. I think this is a, a store. Oh, no. Oh, it's nice to know at least she's here. 
Soothe me, woman. Soothe me. Oh, thank you. All right. That's quite a. That's uh, that's a more. This is more of a. This fairy fountain is more. What do you call it? PG friendly as opposed to um, what do you call it? Zelda Two, where it looks like that woman takes you into her place and she says, "I can heal your wounds," and nothing happens. Pretty much everybody I know who's played that door thinking they were, you know, mm, doing some stuff in there. Adult stuff, anyway. So, ow. But then again, there's a lot of people out there. Like, you know, some people will say, will actually say, uh, what do you call it? You know, maybe she's dressing up her wounds, and I'm like thinking, like, how come they don't go to the inside of this, of the... Ow. I forgot, I can't kill these guys without, uh, let's see. Let test that out. Yeah, I think that you, you gotta have them stunned first before you can even attempt to touch them. Or you can throw stuff at them. Whoa, look at that! A bottle. And this bee won't leave me alone. So, let's see. Oh, I know better than to get too close to that. Oh, I forgot he does that. Well, that didn't... Uh, at least I didn't have to kill every one of those little guys. At least they don't chase after you. That would have been... Uh, ow! Quite the nuisance. Get out of here, Octorok. You know, some of the things I'm wondering, like, uh, the names for some of the enemies are just kind of weird. Like, in the first, um, first Legend of Zelda, I forget what those rabbits were called. They were called P Pole Sing or something? Pole's Voice? Yeah, I think it's Pole's Voice. Let's swing this around here. There's a bomb there. Oh, I know you could lift up these big rocks, but you need, like, a stronger blade blade. A stronger bracelet. Get... Ow! Oh, I broke through his defense. Ow! He didn't blow up! What a cheap... Okay, let's go through this way. Oh, I need a bomb. Okay, it's a good thing I got a few of those. Kablooey. Alrighty. Oh, and we got fairies. But I got full fairies already, so I'll just eat them then. Consume fairies! Okay. So, pretty much, I gotta use... It's a good thing I have enough bombs to go through both entrances here. And now, you just gotta wait for it to blow up. Alright. And we will go and claim our prize. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a bracelet, because... Didn't that other door didn't show me anything. And what is this? You found the ice rod. It's chill magic blast the air, but watch your magic meter. Okay, so I guess I don't get a bracelet then. Okay, so I do have an ice rod. Oh, what am I? I don't need that. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. So this is the treasure I need from Lake Hylia. And I don't have a bracelet. So, um... That also that fortune teller said that I need the book of Madura to open that uh, desert cave to the you know to the far left of the that desert area right there I'm pretty sure anybody who with eyes can see them I don't know why sometimes I trip over words like that cuz I am I spend about 90% uh, of my day just you know working and doing stuff and having my yap my trap shut I, I just want to I just want to learn how to talk again. I don't know. It's like a... Well, I just want to learn how to converse, actually. Okay, so uh, he said I need to open the Book of Madura, right? So I don't know where to go after this. Hmm. I don't remember because I haven't played... Well, I haven't gotten far and I haven't played in a long while. Because last time I tried to play this through, I did... I'm, I will admit something here that this is the, this is like my third play th attempt at a playthrough of Legend of Zelda. It just uh, what do you call it? I don't know. I just kept on uh, getting sidetracked with other things in life, and I'd get lost, and I just you know would end up starting again. So eventually, maybe one of these days, I will release those uh, those videos as um, just bonus episodes, I guess. But anyway, so I am gonna get. I'm gonna take a look. 
gonna see where I need to go. Okay, so I need the Book of Medora. And I believe the Book of Medora is in some sort of mini dungeon. Oh! Wow, enemies galore after me. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep going this way. Uh, let's see. Whoop! Uh, Medora. Maybe that's the Book of Medora right over there. Yeah, okay, yeah. I remember now. The Book of Medora is in a place, but I think I need the magic mirror or something. Because I need to drain this. Well, I'll take a look in here and see what kind of treasure I have here. Oh, I got bombs! Alright. So let's go back in and out again. Just so we can... Uh, Execute this thing here. Whoa, I shouldn't have did that. Maybe I should maybe I did um, Can't really go in oh Maybe I'll put I'll push the middle one in first Gotta use your brain for games like this Let's pull this here Nope nothing Oh, yeah, yeah bombs galore Okay, and this one. Goody. Okay, so we got the floodgates open and we have... Uh, do we have a full lake here? Oh no, it drained. Look at that. We have a piece of heart. Yes, I got a piece. Oh, get out of here. I see ya. Okay. Hmm. Where do I go now? Okay, you know what? I will go to the next possible place I need to go. Ow! You... What is that? Some sort of little devil jumping out of the tree. Out of the tree, out of the grass! Okay. What does this guy say? Nothing. Pay t no attention to the average middle-aged man standing by this sign. What for? Leave him alone, okay. What's in here? So one thing that I... Oh yeah, it's another fairy fountain. Alright. So one thing about Zelda is that sometimes you gotta explore just to find out where to go next. Because I do know that I'm supposed to go collect the pennants, right? But... I don't think there's no straight way to get there. Like, I know going over there that I am going to run into a monument which says I need the Book of Medora to translate. But I'm just wondering... Let's see here. See that? Yeah, I need the Book of Medora to translate. And there is an old wise guy around here somewhere, I think. Let's see, there's a cave around here. Stupid buzzard. Okay, so... See if this guy has any hints for me. Like, I know I may seem like I'm trying to lead people, I'm trying to lead you on, the viewer, that I'm, this is a fresh playthrough and everything, but honestly, I just don't remember a lot of things uh, I do. I am Agina. Agina? I sense something is happening to the golden land of the Seven Wise Men sealed. This must be an omen of the great cataclysm foretold by the people of Hillian blood. The prophecy says the hero will stand in the desert holding the Book of Medora. If you have the Book of Medora, you can read the language of the Hillia people. It should be in the house of the books in village. You, you must get it if you are the person who will be the hero. So, I do need to go back to the village and look for somebody or look for a book or something. Um, look for, what do you call it? A, just gotta look for a house with a bunch of books, I'm guessing. A, a library of sorts. So we will go back to... I wonder if there's a quick run... Okay. I think I can... Yeah, okay. I see the way now. I know the way. Ow! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So we'll go up here. Here, thank goodness for. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go the long way around now. 
Okay. All right, so uh, the long okay, the long way is not that long. I was worried that I was going to have to traverse like about a good quarter of the map just to get to where I want to be going. Just going to make mad dashes over that yonder. Wow. You're not worth it just to get those hearts again. Go up here. Oh no. I made a wrong turn. Okay. Back we go. Oh. If I owned this game back in the day, I probably would have just mastered this game like all the other games I've gotten. Cuz like when you're a little kid and you have a lot you have like pl plenty of time to kill and you only have let's say like half a dozen games and you know, you can only play the same game over and over again until you start getting real good at it. I'm trying to recall, was there any games that I had that I've never beaten? Oh yes! Altered Beast. I actually had like three systems back in the day, but uh, uh, when I got a Super Nintendo, my Super NES stopped working a couple years after. And then I also got a Sega Genesis to go along with my Super Nintendo. And Sega Genesis was like, it was the must-have system for Sonic the Hedgehog. I wonder which which of these houses I can go into. Okay, so there's this dude right here. Yeah, Digit, I'm quarreling with my younger brother. I sealed the door to his room. You mean this wall? This this door? This wall? Okay. Sorry for blowing a hole in your house. Imagine if I possibly killed his brother on the other side. Hey, Digit, did you come from my older brother's room? Is he still angry? Uh, yes, he is. He hasn't... Uh, he still has you locked off, right? So... If you can reach the goal within 15 seconds, we'll give you something good. Ready, set, go. Okay. Uh, let's get here. Let's make a run for it. I know where to go already because I've done this run a couple of times before. Alright, your time was 0 minutes 10 seconds. You qualified. Congratulations, I, I present you with a piece of heart. Nice found a piece of heart okay so just two more pieces and I get to uh, have a full another heart to my life bar there Ooh, money did I already go in here see that's what I mean like I, I, I have a hard time remembering stuff let's see pay me 20 rupees and let you win one chest you can keep what's inside no oh I see too bad drop by again after collecting rupees well, the thing is that in there, I, um, I'm pretty sure it's just money that he, that you win. So I don't need to, whoa. Just gonna go. I'm gonna just kill him first. Oh, look at that. We found the, the library. And look at that. See how I can get to it? It looks like I can't get to it, right? But look at this. Anybody who's played Zelda knows what I'm gonna do next. Ta-da! That's why you need the boots. Alright, you found the Book of Maduro. You can use it to read the ancient language of the Hylia. Alright, so we will go back to the desert. Oh. Alrighty. So, yeah. Sometimes, uh, like, some of the hints in this game are not uh, as clear-cut, or else you have trouble kind of... Uh, putting A to B together, but sometimes there's A to B and B to C and whatnot, like, can get a little bit uh, confusing sometimes, especially with, like, the older games, like, the first two games were very hard in, like, you know, figuring stuff out, because there were some things I never would have figured out if I didn't have my buddy there to help me and show me the way, because, like, uh, what do you call it, um... I don't know, it's just that, uh, it's like those games were designed to sell, like, uh, script subscriptions to Nintendo Power, because, like, some of the things you had to figure out, you had to subscribe to Nintendo Power. And it's just, it was just dumb, you know? That's just dumb. But now people, now, now the companies nowadays are selling you season passes and DLCs and whatnot. Selling you incomplete games and, uh, I just, um, I, 
I've never agreed with that model of playing. You know, like fighting games. You know, you, if you want extra characters, you got to pay like six, you know, five to ten bucks for a new character. It's just I don't know. Enough about that. But let's see here. We shall pick, grab, use the book and read. And I will open the book to open to open the way to go forward. Make your wish here, and it will be granted. Please let me in. I pray to thee. Pray to the goddesses. I guess I gotta press a button. Okay, there we go. So Link says a solemn uh, prayer and he's able to get in. So In we go. And here is the second level. Dungeon. Let's get rid of these guys. Oh yeah, these guys. Uh, didn't these guys used to fly? Or was that just in Zelda 1? Probably just in Zelda 1. Get away. Alright, I got full hearts now. Let's kill this guy here. Oh, threw red over him. Alright, so we gotta figure out what to do. Oh, I forgot about that guy. The laser. The laser thing. All oh, those guys remind me of those, um... Oh, I forget what those enemies are called, like on, uh... Oh. Those guys on Breath of the Wild, you know, those, uh... Tanks that shoot lasers at you. Like, even if you're really far away, like... You'll be, like, on a... On a... You can be on a mountain that looks like maybe you're, like, at least two or three miles away. And he'll chill, still try to shoot you, and I was... That just blew me away when that first happened because I thought like being like a hundred two hundred feet away would be good enough but no if you can see it it can see you and that's that was pretty uh that was pretty awesome because like most of the time you just need to hide around a corner or just uh be across the screen from an enemy uh, especially on an overhead game and they don't see you until you get like a couple of feet close but anyway yeah, I'm hoping to wrap up this le uh, this Legend of... Well, after I wrap up this game, this playthrough, I'm going to pick a, another, a short... A, a, maybe a couple shorter games to do. Because I don't want to do like... Uh, I'm not going to go... In, I'm not going to go playthrough to playthrough playing games that takes like at least 100 hours to beat. Because, you know... Because I don't want to take up like... Uh, a full year of uh, not a full year I don't want to take up months of just one game so in between playthroughs I am gonna be playing two shorter games like playthroughs like of uh, let's see I don't know I don't know what uh, my schedule uh, what, uh, what's what schedule I'm gonna hold up to I'm still figuring out this uh, ow I'm still figuring out uh, how I wanna run my channel ouch but we will figure out when we get there. I could do the Game Grumps thing and just like do 15 minute episodes, but um, I was like thinking like, uh, uh, but, whoa, we found the big uh, chest already. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need the big key. That's right. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I just kind of could do like, uh, what do you call it, Game Grumps and do like 15 minute episodes, but I don't know. I'm more about... Uh, Getting through the game and showing, you know, showing a little bit more. Digit, it is I, Sahazrala. Okay. You must never fail to find all the treasures in each key dungeon. Okay. Look at that. Okay, I think I need... Ouch! Wait for him to go away. Alright. I barely saw that. So, I can open a door somewhere. I don't know where, though. Let's find this in... Let's find this door here. Wherever it may be, where can it be? Oh, no, nope, nothing there. I can kill this guy with one shot. Pow! Ow! I don't know why I didn't throw anything at him, but let's wait for this guy to wake up and. Okay. Gotcha. Nice! And what do we have here? Uh, got the map. Got the map, got the map, got the map, got the map. Okay. It's just, uh, I had a flashback of, uh, looking after my nieces there, and they used to watch Dora the Explorer. 
Let's see here. Um, what did I pick up? Oh, I picked up the map. That's right. Okay, so there are three floors of, of things to look through. So as you can see right here in basement one, the, the upper leftist corner there is the big treasure as I it's indicated by that rectangle thing there. So let's check out the other right side of this dungeon here. I still have one key to use and I have not used it yet. Wait for this guy to come up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I killed that guy so I, so I could walk the other way. I don't know. Sometimes I just gotta... Sometimes I'm just in the mood to kill... To get to clear the enemies of the screen. All right. What's up here? What do we have? We have oh, whoa! We have cr a bunch of enemies here. Kill that guy. Wow! Gotchas. We got full life again. So nothing there. It was just a detour. Oh look at that! We found the key. Found the key door. Let's get rid of these uh, squids here. Oysters, whatever. Okay, and what's in here? We got a compass. It's probably on the second floor, that, that guy. No. He's in the second floor. Yeah, it's the second floor. That's right. Because I'm still in the basement suite. What's in here? Nothing. Whoa! Ow! What's in here? The big key! Yes! Let's go get that uh, big treasure. Alright. Easy peasy. Okay, so we're gonna get the big treasure. I'm not too sure what the big treasure is. It's gotta be the bracelet. It's gotta be. Cause I know that, uh... Cause I know that you get the big bracelet, uh, early in the game. Cause like, uh... If I had to guess, I think I'm probably, I don't know, 20% through the whole game. I might be wrong. My percentages are probably not that, I'm probably not that great at estimating percentages. Gotcha. I think I have enough arrows and hearts. Whoa, let's get out of here. Oh, there's a different doorway here. But I want to get the treasure. Sorry for being so decisive. I have that problem. Okay, so we go... Oh, whoa! Did I hurt him? No, I didn't. I hurt myself. Stupid laser man. Laser thing. Oh, respawning enemy. Just gonna squeeze through here, excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, I was trying to squeeze through there and I guess I couldn't. Alright, let's get out of here. And we have... Oh, Power Glove. Oh, it's not a bracelet, it's a Power Glove. I don't know which game that is where you use a bracelet to lift up stuff. Okay, you can feel the strength with both hands, you can pick up and carry stones now. Awesome. Come on. Is there any hearts in here for me? Mm, really? Nothing? Okay. Uh, I thought there would be stuff there for me, but I guess not. I guess I did not. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try out the exit from the left side of the dungeon. See if it takes me anywhere else, because I remember when I played this game last time. Or the other time. I was real stuck here for a while. And it was just only the second dungeon. Sometimes I do get stuck, like in, uh, what was it, um... Uh, Yosai no something 2. Well, Fortified Zone 2. I got stuck for a while there, because I didn't... F I didn't f it didn't occur to me to that uh, the unlimited uh, grenade launcher I had could also blow up doors. And, yeah, I was stuck there longer than I should have. I wonder if I could open that door if I uh, light up these lanterns. No, it's a jip. Okay, maybe I can move one of these stones. I'm just gonna wait for him to shoot me. Can I move? No, move, move, no, move, 
move. Oh, yes. Whoa. Okay. Oh, it's just fairies. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's go outside here. I'm... Let's see. Okay, so we're in a different part of this area. Higher elevated, at least. And look at that! We have a... Oh. Found a piece of heart. Let's kill this guy. He's being annoying. There's a bird! Kick its ass! Okay. What else do we have around here? Oh, look at that! And this is why I needed the power glove. I'm pretty sure this is the second floor. Let's go take a look around here. Okay, so nothing there. Alright. Oh, and I just realized something. Oh, get out of there. I just realized that I have almost went past my plane time. So this has been the third episode, and we are, well... We're getting close to the boss, and I didn't think I didn't think I was gonna finish the boss in this episode anyway. But next episode, we will get to the boss, we'll defeat him, and we'll be on our way to the next pendant dungeon area place thing. Anyway, so that has this has been this has been Legend of Zelda so f by far, and uh, we will see you next time. And until then, peace. <laughs>